oh yeah, especially like all your introduced species that have come in and, and the wild dog problem that a lot of the property owners are having at the moment, you know. They've even gone to some of the, the stages of where they would put 1080 baits out for these wild dogs and they just roll the baits and so if you've got really heavy rain, you know, it would disperse the, the poison off it. But I've spoken to one property owner last week and she said she's had to go past that. The wild dog problem is so bad that now they are injecting their baits. So if they get some heavy rain, it's not going to make any difference. These baits are still going to be live for like six months. The wild dog problem is getting so bad. And so, you know, these are the things that we want people out there to help these farmers, to help get rid of these these animals out there. Because not only are they, they're getting into their own stock, but they're getting into all our native animals as well. Yeah, you know, and where the dingoes were the big problem a while back, it, it's getting to the stage where the wild dogs are, are getting up there as well. You know, and that's why some property owners are not allowing dogs at the moment for people who want to go dogging. They're not allowing the dogs out there because they've put these baits out and they just don't want domestic dogs or hunting dogs to be to be going on the property and getting these baits. So, it's, you know, it's a shame at the moment. Not all the properties, but some of them are.